Hello everyone, greetings from sunny Turkey. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I'm the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Dior.com. This is the second video that I tried to film for you during this vacation. And uh, right now I'm using my good old mic because the new one, I was not that happy with the quality. Maybe uh, we still didn't figure out uh, how to use it correctly. Anyway, we will see. It is always tricky to use new technique. What I was going to talk to you about in this video. I have decided to film a video for you uh, with a catchy name where to meet or where to find Ukrainian girls. Uh, if you dial a topic like that in Google or uh, on YouTube, you will find some videos by uh, some foreign guys, by local dating gurus, uh, who will claim that you can just travel to Ukraine, better to Kiev or Odessa, walk the streets and there you will meet ton of ladies and partly it is true uh, you can really meet many women in the streets probably like in all big cities but let's speak about your goals uh, are you looking for someone to just have fun with in the evening or during your vacation then of course you can travel to Odessa go to Ibiza club and uh, if you have uh, enough money to order quality expensive champagne and uh, to do shots, you will attract some girls, maybe students who went to Odessa to just party. You can face a similar situation in Turkey probably. If you choose not a family-friendly hotel, but a party hotel, you will meet some group of women who go there to party. But you can never know, first of all, if she is truly single. You can never know if her boyfriend or her husband or her fiance is back home and maybe she will just do the drinks with you and this will be it. And you can never know if she can seriously consider dating a foreigner. I can honestly tell you that our local Ukrainian clients, Ukrainian men, uh, they struggle meeting someone because uh, times have changed and 10 years ago it was easier to meet someone on a street and um, I remember like 10 years ago when I was in the university like in the university you kind of meet other students and then you meet friends of a friends and then you go to the office and you start meeting new people in the office again friends of a friends and you can go out to meet someone Actually, it was quite common uh, to be walking down the street when a young gentleman would approach you and ask if you want coffee or for your phone number. It was acceptable. Nowadays, uh, not just because I got older, like uh, all our female clients, they tell that it is so hard to meet someone. I remember I was talking to a gentleman the other day, a Ukrainian gentleman, and he told me that uh, even though he works in a big IT company, like 80% of uh, people there are male and those girls uh, who work for the same company, they are either already taken or they are not interested in this guy or he's not interested in them. So his point of pool of search is kind of limited and uh, he has already met all friends of a friends. So it doesn't make sense to go there again. He has signed up for gym and he had tried to meet uh, girls there. But again, in the gym, it is hard to tell who is married, who is single, and a few times he has tried to approach girls who turned out to be married, and uh, there is nothing more fragile than male ego and being turned off. Even if uh, the girl is married and there is nothing wrong with you, she is just not interested, well, it's not a pleasant feeling. So uh, he has tried gym, he has tried Pilates class, and uh, he lives in an area not far from our office by the way we have many it companies many new office buildings so it's kind of a new and transient area and we have new malls there like lots of lots of cafes and restaurants he said that he tried to approach women there as well but for example when he's buying his groceries he sees a single girls or at least they appear single but again She's talking on, on her phone or she has headphones on or she's just going through her Facebook page or she's reading something and it is hard to catch her attention because she's so involved with her gadgets. 
Uh, same happens a lot uh, when you go out for lunch. Uh, usually when I go out for lunch not far from my office, I take my laptop with me and I see that most of people are either reading something or they are surrounded with a group of friends. It is hard to approach a group of people, especially if it is a group of women. So it is getting more and more complicated to meet singles right in the street or when you go out. Uh, women often uh, complain that men have stopped approaching them on streets or they have stopped approaching them uh, in restaurants or when they go out. And uh, when we do these lectures about flirt together with our psychologists, I often tell that you don't, give guys, you don't actually give guys a chance to approach you because you surround yourself with like seven, eight girlfriends or if it is a mixed company, there are guys in the company and uh, it is hard for are the gentlemen who are outside of your company to understand uh, who is taken, who is not. Uh, and it is more complicated, it takes more courage to approach a group actually. And uh, also, so often when people go out, uh, they take uh, their phones, uh, their smartphones uh, from their pockets and purses and uh, they try to hide in the safety of this gadget because, uh, well, uh, then they don't feel so alone. That's a nervous habit. So where to meet girls in Ukraine? If you want to go to party, of course, you can do clubbing just like everywhere in the world. Uh, there will be clubs where there will be people who go there to just have fun. And I remember during my first trip to Las Vegas, uh, I went to see some shows and actually went to the conference. It was a dating conference, of, uh, dating industry conference. And uh, after the end of uh, uh, the day at the conference, usually we went to the restaurant, uh, the group of us, uh, or we went to have some drinks. And I was watching that there were groups of women who wear hardly any clothes, American women and men who try to approach those women. You can see it uh, in all countries, in all big cities. So in Ukraine, if you go in summer to Odessa and you go clubbing, then of course um, you will meet their people. The question is if they are dating material and marriage material. That's the big question. Um, sometimes uh, women and men, they love having their summer romance and then returning back home uh, to their office duties and to their families. Well, uh, people can be different. If you think that you will just travel over and you will go to the same breakfast place or to different breakfast place and you will meet people, yes, you can meet some waitresses, uh, some staff, you can uh, learn their names, uh, maybe you can even meet someone who go there. But again, there is no guarantee that these people are actually single and they are searching for someone that they are open to international dating. So if you think that being a foreigner, it will be easier for you, no. Uh, first of all, it will be quite complicated to spot someone in the street who speaks English. And also for some people, you will appear sex tourists or they will think it is strange that a foreigner is hitting on them. So if you know how to play this foreigner card right, uh, Maybe you can earn some points, but in the majority of cases, if, for example, a Ukrainian man will approach a girl or and a foreign man, she most likely choose the Ukrainian. Uh, if you are on the same level of attractiveness, just because uh, she will feel safer with this uh, Ukrainian guy, she will feel that uh, nothing bad can happen because he represents the same culture. Where else to meet Ukrainian girls? You can tell me right now that paper letter dating sites. I would tell that this is the last place where to search for truly uh, marriage minded or someone who has serious intention about a serious relationship. At least not those websites where all girls look like Barbie dolls and you look at them 
if she really had like waist and breasts like that she wouldn't be able to walk they are like so heavily photoshopped so of course if you open such websites and uh, you see that the average age of girls is about 25 years old and the average age of guys is 55 years old or 45 years old and it is written at that uh, website that age is just a number and uh, I'm searching for love and I want to give all my affection just to one guy and she's 21 and she wears like a bikini and it is written that she is a lawyer. This website is created for entertainment uh, to create this illusion of communication. Are such websites where you don't even have to fill in your profile or add a picture and you will still receive hundreds of letters and all you have to do just pay to open any letter and to start communication it's not about relationship it's a, a total waste of time and heart you can try some uh, foreign or some local dating sites free dating sites or some apps they can be free or partly free uh, but there there will be real people if a website uh, has a name something like sexy natasha's dolls that's a bad side. I wouldn't go there. So uh, if you want to travel to Ukraine and you hope just to meet someone in the street, that's quite risky. So of course, if you combine it, for example, you are going on a business trip and uh, you will have a chance to meet people because you will be in the Ukrainian branch of your company or you will meet uh, some local representatives of the company you are working for. Mm, that's a good scenario because they can introduce you to someone. But again, keep in mind that usually our friends and acquaintances, they love playing matchmaker based on the only criteria. He's single, she's single, they are perfect for each other. So they don't be any attention they don't take in consideration any other qualities uh, they want to play image maker just because you're single and she's single and usually it's not enough if you have been if you have ever been on blind dates arranged by your relatives and friends or you know what i'm talking about the smart thing to do if you want to combine a, a trip to ukraine with meeting ladies uh, is to approach someone on a dating site maybe facebook if you do it right just please don't write on facebook hey what's your name where are you from you can read all this information on facebook of course the easiest uh, least time consuming way is to hire a matchmaker or to go to a local dating agency but at least google where you're going guys there is no such thing as matchmaking for 200 dollars like trust me are because the amount of work a matchmaker or a matchmaking team will invest into creating a solid a decent database and to do all the interviews it's not two hundred dollars so i would be suspicious and even five hundred dollars there is no matchmaking for five hundred dollars no no way so uh, if you are not willing to hire a professional to help you you can do dating sites you can try to go out you can ask your local friends and acquaintance to set you up with someone just uh, try to get some really sick skin because you will face many disappointments with blind dates arranged by your friends and also you will face many no-show ups and ghosting if you do online dating that's a normal thing for online dating what about Tinder, you can ask me? Well, like everywhere in the world, uh, Tinder it was created for fun. I know that some people have managed to fall in love and to get married and have babies after meeting someone on Tinder. I would tell that these are exceptions. And of course, many people who add themselves on Tinder, they are not actually interested in serious relationship. And uh, that many are not interested in meeting someone who speaks another language. Some will be open so it's like gambling you can do it again so where to meet ukrainian women of course a smart idea is to travel to ukraine because there will be more ukrainian women there another ship over there tries to park and i don't know if you'll mess up with the sound one gentleman has uh, commented one of my videos that i don't want to pay image maker or any dating agency i will just go to church in the us and i will meet ukrainian women there well that's actually a smart idea you can do go to church and uh, you will see that many women there are happily married and uh, uh, the pool of candidates are those who are single and are open to date a foreigner it will be very very limited 
most of Slavic women who live abroad, they want to date someone Slavic. I can tell it for sure because many women approach us. Yes, some want uh, to, to date someone local, uh, someone American, but many prefer it to date someone Slavic. I hope it is not messing up the sound. It is hard to film on the boat because boats are going around and there are 10 people here who also try to mess up the sound. Or it is hard to be the only blogger on board. Uh, anyway, I want to wish you love. I hope you appreciate the view and I will see you in the next video. Svetlana Muha for Dela.com with love.